please tell us your name. Name is Alan Bubb. And what do you bring to the History Harvest today? I brought a composition that was written by my father back in seventh grade in Sunbury High School in 1923. It was a uh, school assignment, and um, he wrote about the history of Sunbury. It included some uh, postcard pictures from that date. One of the pictures is of the uh, Fort Augusta historical site, uh, their front entrance, which is now different. This picture would predate the 1936 flood. And so it's historic in nature. Uh, another picture of the Mary Packer Hospital, which is where I was born. So that's interesting, but uh, it's handwritten, no computers, and uh, it's a type of work that they did back in 1923 in, in high school. I don't know if they do this type of work yet, but uh, I've always been a history enthusiast. Unfortunately, I didn't realize my calling till late, and uh, I have written uh, I'm interested in railroad history primarily. I have written a manuscript which was published as part of a 25-year uh, history of the Cedacog Joint Rail Authority, which is a municipal authority. Uh, I'm working on some other railroad history projects. Um, that's about what I can say about that right now. Uh, the other thing I brought is my father's uh, high school yearbook from 1929 when he was a senior. And it's, uh, I think, a little bit different than what they do now as far as presentation. I mean, the, the subjects are the same, but they just have them arranged a little bit different for the pictures. And, and they go into the sports and a picture of the old high school, which is where this library is now. Um, different than chain gang. I have no idea what they're talking about there. It must have been some of the, uh, well, I don't know. I'm not going to go there. Uh, different uh, sports teams and uh, other things you'd find in a, in a high school yearbook, but it's Again, it's history, and uh, it can be interesting the, uh, the way they did the pages up. Uh, they put some work into it. Uh, I know they do that today, too, but I don't think they do it quite this way. So it's, it's you know, something I'm sure people would be interested in. Um, so what made you decide to bring these two items specifically into the harvest today? Well, to share them. I mean, history should be shared, and you can learn from history. Um, I've seen history change. I'm 72 years old, so I've been around a little bit. And uh, I have seen this town changed. Uh, I can remember when people were gathered in the street corners, which they don't do now. Uh, and if they do, you wonder what they're up to. But uh, I just, uh, Sunburyan by birth. I lived in New Jersey for about 23 years. Uh, my father worked for Westinghouse. And when they moved down there, of course, I was too young to say I don't want to go. And, but I came back in 76, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy it up here. You can get out of town. Down in New Jersey, you can't get out of town. You land in the next one. So, I'm a country boy. I'm not a city slicker. Um, and how do these items connect to the history of Sunbury? Well, like I said, one is an example of uh, high school, uh, what they taught in high school, what high school homework and assignments was. Uh, 
And the other item is, uh, of course, a yearbook, and uh, they can be interesting too, what they, how things were done back then, how they dressed and um, how they presented the material in the bound volume. So it's, it's something that, you know, you can learn from it. For folks unfamiliar with Sunbury who would be watching this video, like, what do these two things tell them about the town? About the what? The town. What do these items tell someone who's unfamiliar with Sunbury about it? Well, um, I would say how things were done years ago um, compared with how they're done now. Uh, of course, their structures are no longer here. And it's just pieces of things that happened in the past that are being preserved.